Good afternoon, everyone. This is your global weather anomaly for the last couple of months across the planet, as well as a crop forecast moving out to 2021. Wildfires in California, wildfires in Europe. Let's compare the total burned acreage. Media claims it's because of global warming. 1937, 21 million acres. 2008 to 2017 average, 3.5 million acres. Devastating wildfires in 1868 as well, California. Overall, total acreage burned down since the 1930s. How about the EU? down since the 1980s what about the heat massive heat wave oh that's 1930 looking at the days over a hundred and hundred and five degrees fahrenheit oh it was much warmer in the 1930s as the intertropical convergence zone continues to shift during the amplification of the grand solar minimum we're going to see all types of signs in the skies New adjustment on the hurricane season downward. Hey, wait, I was told because all the global warming, we would have more hurricanes. Well, I guess that's not going to be the case. Down tick on the next bar there. Sandstorms everywhere. Middle East, Europe, Asia, massive atmospheric compression events across Myanmar and Laos that have just broken dams. The size of the water spouts. That's not a water spout. That is a tornado. And looking at all the static electricity in the atmosphere from the dust storms, 360,000 lightning strikes in 24 hours. Strongest ever earthquakes in the Alaskan North Slope region. Seismic monitors picking it up from USGS to Alaska Earthquake Center. North Slope, Alaska, extremely low risk level. How low? Well, not even two tenths of one percent. Looking over that blue dot in the center, that's Missouri bullseye for the waking of the New Madrid fault zone. Also off Svalbard, more earthquakes, more volcanic vents. I did a story on this, the hot spot in the Arctic. And what's the outlier way up at the Arctic Circle, a set of quakes. And I'll leave you with some smoke from the fires in California. Three typhoons in the Pacific, sprites with meteor showers, plasma discharges, three water spouts in Sweden, electric storms, thunderstorms in the desert, incredible hail. We see that planet wide. And just as an idea of how the weather's going to amplify, I'll put a few squares and then we're going to measure those together here so you can really see the amplification and how much more to expect as our climate shifts moving into 2021. Special thanks to all my ADAPT 2030 patrons. Just sent you another PDF. It's more of a way for you to be able to explain to others what's going on with a scientific document, easy to understand with a lot of references at the bottom. Look for that in the inbox. Their support helps make these videos possible. And I do say thank you very much to all my patrons. Earliest snowfall since records began at Ski Resort in Japan. This is in Hokkaido Island. Also 125 temperature stations in Hokkaido breaking all-time record cold for August frosts at 125 locations. Same area showing year-on-year -year gains in snowfall, but Japan times, they won't touch this with a 10-foot pole. Shocker. They want to talk about global warming and Antarctica melting. And I'm starting to back up my channel on BitChute. You can find me over there at Adapt2030. Guardian, Arctic's strongest sea ice breaks up for the first time on record, but then look at the next statement down. Usually frozen waters open up twice this year in phenomenon. Is it the first time on record or is it the second time this year? Waters north of Greenland are normally frozen and even in the summer. See, they're trying to explain away the gaining sea ice. The narrative is changing. That little sliver of coastline off of Greenland, you see where it's blue in the left slide? compared to where the ice is sometimes in the right slide. Guardian article even shows that we're coming into the 5th, 6th, 7th least amount of ice. Could be 8th or ninth by the time the finish of the summer rolls around. They never talk about the underwater volcanic activity in that area of northern Greenland. And that tiny little hook at Greenland where they say it's the first time ever. Oh, it happened last year too. 
but I guess it'd be way too inconvenient to talk about all the sea ice that has returned back to Antarctica. Wanted to talk about Wheeler's drought clock. We are repeating cycles. And when I talk about this, it is climate cycles, waves, smaller durations of time overlapping into longer durations. As you're seeing the floods pervade our planet, it is a cycle. This is how quickly we're going to enter the grand solar minimum compared to what we did in the maunder minimum. We can track grand solar minimums through time and intensity. We know the forecast going out how quickly it's going to cool, but also the wider the waves are, the wider those lines are, the more intense our weather becomes. And you can see the 2019 and 20 split is this amplification right here. At the very minimum, our weather is going to become four times more intense by 2021 than you're seeing today. We can map out where these changes are occurring, where they're going to cool again, where it's going to become more wet. But the problem is every time it cools and becomes wet, societies across the planet collapse civilizations collapse now case in point just the very last week or so two typhoons combining over japan unexpected mega floods engulfing southern taiwan worst floods in a century in india deserts flooding in algeria massive flooding in kenya 30 inches of rain in hawaii a before in California and after. We got positive lightning in Italy, flooding streets in Italy, gorges in Italy. And anywhere you see pink here, this is torrential rainfall over the Adriatic region. UK about to plummet in temperatures 10 degrees Celsius below normal. And with all this rain, you can expect a city to be buried like this across the planet in the Northern Hemisphere during this coming winter. Central European drought revealing what's called hunger stones. You're seeing this across the media now. So what does it really mean to you? As you can see, even the lowest levels are still higher than what's bone dry at the very bottom of the stone. This is what it looked like before it was excavated. I dug out a PDF from the Hungarian library. That report goes into these river basins. When the most epic droughts were during that time, 1616, just a moderate drought through history. They found the biggest droughts were 1778 to 1784. You can map this back over the last 400 years, but the report itself maps back 1,000 years of drought as well as the crop losses that ensued thereafter. Did you see about all these well below normal temperatures across the United States in the news? I bet you didn't. Australian government agriculture report this week Look at those commodities prices right side bottom is Australia up 63% for milling wheat. U.S. hard red winter wheat up 26% over the year. French wheat harvest 6.5% decrease. Over in the U.K., even the media is saying food prices to rise 5% because of extreme weather. But look at the veggie prices. Carrots up 80%. Butter up 25%. 7 pounds per month per household times 18.9 million families. And I wonder which other sectors they're gonna stop spending in first. David Dubine here, creator of Adapt 2030 channel on YouTube, as well as Mini Ice Age Conversations podcast three times a week. I wanted to reach out and thank every single one of my Patreon supporters for all that you've helped me with over these last couple of years. It is our community. It's not my or what I do, but it is ours. There's so much going on right now with the changes that you've seen and the uptick in unusual weather, jet streams shifting all over the place. So what I wanted to do from this point forward is start to talk about solutions, areas that are showing already signs of stress or upticks every single winter. It's more intense or during the summer it's more heat and flooding. But these same things keep reoccurring in the same places. So what I wanted to do was give you a winter forecast for 2018-19 as well as a little bit longer term forecast based on sunspot activity. We are heading into at least something as low as the last 200 years. And as we continue forward into the next decade or two, we are going to get back something that we have not seen in 400 years in terms of cooling. Coldest August morning in 21 years, 
Well, that's what the news headline says, but when you read deeper into it, all-time record set for cold. Headline's very deceiving. Also, as you peruse through the record cold across Victoria and extreme low temperatures, well, the season will be warmer than average for the south of Australia. Don't worry about it. We do generally get spells of cold between warmer than average weather. I'm glad you informed us of that. Thanks so much. Snow in Turkey in August. Snow in Calgary in August. But notice how the media picks these very select tweets. Well, it snows every August. Forecasters in Spain talking about their winter. Area in blue highlighted. Where is that? Almeria. The backbone of the Spanish vegetable export. Forecast. Record cold. Smashing. Freezing cold. Coming up this winter.